Hi gang, I finally picked up a smartphone to do projects with and decided to try out Pepper's Ghost with it. In fact, you're looking at it right now. Here's how I did it and how you can do it too. Pepper's Ghost is a neat effect where you project something onto a transparent screen at an angle and it reflects off at an angle. That allows someone to look through the transparent screen to the background but see the reflected image or ghost as well. I had fun doing actual ghosts, even getting a bit silly at a bar. I also had fun with the AT-ATs from Star Wars Empire Strikes Back since we currently have the needed snow for a backdrop. Here's how to make it all, including the ghosts and animations. First you need to make the transparent screen. You want it to sit at a 45 degree angle on the phone. For that it needs some sides, preferably also transparent. It also needs some flaps. Those are to help tape it all to the phone. The width of the screen tells you how long the bottom of the sides should be. The height of the side is the same length. Next we need this length, the height of the transparent screen. Since this is a right angle, i.e. 90 degrees, we can use the Pythagorean theorem, which says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. A Google search for Pythagorean theorem calculator gives us a calculator we can use. And more below that. Typing in the two lengths, which are the same value, gives us the transparent screen's height. Next we get a piece of paper and draw a box that's the width of your phone's screen. Use a book or something to make corners that are 90 degree angles. Then draw lines that are the length you'd calculated for the height of the transparent screen. For the sides, find the middle of that. And use the book again to draw a perpendicular line from the middle. Next, position a ruler such that from one corner to the line is the width of your phone's screen. Do the same for the other corner. Then repeat that for the other side. Finally, add some flaps to these edges. You don't need a lot of precision for them. These lines aren't needed anymore. And if it helps, here's where you'll be folding. You now have a template. The transparent plastic can be taken from packaging material, overhead transparencies from a photocopying store, or whatever you can find. I even have a roll of it from the art store. Put the paper template you made underneath. You can trace it out using a marker. As much as possible, put the marker line on the outside. I prefer to not make marks here since those will be visible. Cut it out with scissors. Cut on the inside of the marks so that the marker ink won't be present. Then fold along the edges you'd written the word fold beside on the template. Don't forget the two that you didn't mark. Tape it onto your smartphone and you're done. I use transparent tape for this edge at the front so it won't be visible. Trim the flaps if you need to. Next you need something to project. I put my ghosts and my Star Wars at at videos on my YouTube channel. I put links to them in the video description and you can probably find them by searching for Pepper's Ghost Ghosts and Pepper's Ghost at at. To make the ghosts, I filmed myself against a green screen, then brought it into Sony Vegas Movie Studio, though most any video editor will do. I first cropped the video and then applied a chroma key to get rid of the green screen. Then I added a solid green background behind me instead of the default black. Due to the limitations with the software, I next rendered a video from that and started a new project with that video. I first positioned me off to one side of the frame. The background for Pepper's ghost needs to be black since you want only the ghost to be projected onto the transparent screen. So I then used chroma key again to get rid of the green. I also blurred the edges a bit to soften them. Then I reduced the contrast so that there's less variety in me. Then I used color correction to make me yellow greenish. Then I used gamma to get rid of any shadows and brighten me up a bit. Next I added the glow. And then I added Gaussian Blur to blur the edges, especially important for that bottom edge which started out as a straight line. Finally I added a bit of movement to make it float around a bit. After that I filmed me with a cowboy hat and repeated the whole process for a second ghost. I rendered a video from all that and put it on the camera. And here a friend and I are having some fun with it at a bar. No large quantities of alcohol were consumed in the making of this video. To make the Star Wars AT-ATs, I used Blender, a free 3D modeling and animation software that I use a lot. You can download it from Blender.org. The 3D model and animation is available on my website and the link is given in the video description. And here it is in action. One problem you can see is that for the AT-ATs to have focus, the distant background has to be out of focus, especially in the low lighting required, but it worked out well anyway. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel for more fun project videos like this. You can support these videos either through Patreon or through a one-time donation. 
And if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, share with your social media, or leave a question or comment below. See you soon!